Hey there, I'm Sal. Thanks for checking out the video. The First Gen Tundra is an awesome truck. I absolutely love mine, but like any vehicle, especially ones that are 20 plus years old, there's always a little bit of room for improvement. So uh, today I have a couple of modifications or upgrades that I think are really worthwhile to bring the truck to the next level, but they won't break the bank. So let's get into it. Okay, we'll start at the back and work forward. So first thing on the list is gonna be the tailgate bushing. So if you own a first gen Tundra, chances are your tailgate is not this stiff and sturdy. Um, for a, the longest time, mine would rattle like crazy. Um, it, I have like a really obnoxious squeak coming from where the bushings are. And then also when you're driving around with your windows down, it's, um, it is just brutal. So, uh, Ryan from B40 Built actually designed these uh, rubber bushings that will take the place of the factory ones. And he 3D prints them and sells them. Um, I'll have his contact information down below. But it was one of the best upgrades that I had done to the truck. I can have my windows down, not hear this obnoxious squeaking the whole time. And now the bed opens and closes nice and smoothly. And when you close it, it's a nice solid close. And the bed is, uh, is locked shut, which is awesome. So. First thing off the list is the tailgate bushings. Okay, next moving forward down the truck to the rear window latches. So I'm talking about this little piece right here and it's another very common failure point on these trucks. Um, just from the factory, they're plastic and they get brittle over time and they end up cracking and, and snapping. So when I bought my truck, mine were both cracked um, and I couldn't control you know, the position of the window because you know the, the lever is, is broken. So there's a seller on Amazon who makes these out of aluminum, so they will not break, and they're like a direct fit. I'll have it linked down below, but they just fit perfectly, and now I have no no concerns that it's going to break again, um, and I can actually control, you know, where the window is at. <laughs> Only thing I will say is that when you close the latch all the way, it actually pushes the window back out like half a millimeter. <laughs> The only thing I will say with these new latches is that when you close it all the way, it actually pushes the window back out like half a millimeter, like a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. But it's actually kind of noticeable when I'm driving around and all of a sudden I can hear a little bit more outside noise than I'm used to. Um, and I'll, all I have to do is just come back in and push it out a tiny bit to the, like the not fully closed position and then it pulls the window in that extra little bit and then it's all sealed up. So that's the only little thing that I would say about this, uh, but otherwise, for $8 on Amazon, you cannot go wrong, and it's definitely future-proofing this, uh, this rear window latch. This next one I actually made a really recent video on, and it's these door sill protectors. So you can buy these OEM from Toyota. They have the really nice Tundra script on it, and they're actually designed for the, uh, the double cab Tundra, so they come with a front and rear door set. For the access cabs and regular cabs, obviously, you won't be able to use the rear set, but the fronts fit right up and uh, I think it makes a huge difference. It's just gonna be a good protection getting in and out of the truck, but also it just looks nice. It has, like I said, the Tundra script, so it doesn't look cheesy like a really crappy uh, like AutoZone protector, <laughs> um, but you know, it, it's actually having a function of protecting the door sills, but you know, it looks pretty nice doing it. Moving forward and into the cab of the truck, the next upgrade is gonna be a full LED conversion. So I very recently did this on my channel and it's not going to be for everybody. I know some people want to keep, you know, the OEM interior lights, but um, if you're looking to have a nice, bright, crisp interior light setup, uh, this is definitely the way to go. It really is not that expensive. Uh, I forget how much I, it was all in, but like no more than 30 bucks probably for all of the lights. And you can do the lights in the, the gauges. You can do them behind the HVAC controls. You can do them in the doors. You can do them in the lights up top, like the dome lights, and it really, really does make a difference, uh, especially getting rid of the green you know, covers on all the lights and just having a nice crisp white light as you're driving around. Uh, it just helps freshen up the interior a little bit, and I, I really like the upgrade. I'll have the video that I made linked down below, as well as you know what types of bulbs you'll need, uh, just so that nice and easy. Most of them are on Amazon. You can just go buy them there, and uh, yeah, it's, uh, I think it's, it's pretty worthwhile to do. This next one might seem a little funky, but it's actually the windshield washer squirters. So from the factory, these just have these two little streams that just shoot up on the window and they suck. <laughs> they are really not good. This coverage is awful. And uh, 
I was doing a little bit of research like two years ago now and found out that 2007 to 14 FJ Cruiser squirters will just pop right in and be a perfect replacement on our trucks. And um, what's really nice is they create a fan pattern as opposed to the two little streams. And it was a huge difference. Um, I did this before I started making videos for YouTube, but I did get a before and after clip of it because it was just so, so crazy of a difference. So I'll have that here. Yeah, I think they're like 20 to $25 each, depending on where you buy it from. So I still think for $50 to, you know, just have the washer fluid actually cover your windshield, uh, I think it's well worth it. So yeah, windshield washer squirters from an 07 to 14 FJ Cruiser. Okay, this next one's gonna be a bit more of a modification. A lot of the things that I've listed so far are upgrades where I kind of consider them improving what came from the factory, but this really will change the characteristics of the truck, and I'm talking about a two inch leveling kit. I'm specifying two inch because once you go to three, four, whatever, crazy um, lift, then you gotta start thinking about, you know, a diff drop or like, you know, the angles of your axles, CV boots tearing, just your control arm geometry. But with a two inch lift, it's pretty, uh, you know, understood that the, the suspension can handle that without any other, you know, modifications. So. I got mine on Amazon from Supreme, Supreme Suspensions, and I've been really happy with it. Uh, you know, it, it's actually really easy to install. It's just a spacer. Um, you know, you could also upgrade the full shocks and, and springs, and that gets a lot more expensive, like you know, over five hundred, eight hundred dollars for the the you know base setup there. Um, but if you just want to lift the front end of your truck up a little bit more, uh, I, I think a, a leveling spacer is a really good way of doing it. I think it really I think having these trucks leveled makes them look so much better. Um, don't get me wrong, I'm not opposed to the, the stock look, but I just think um, even if you don't do new wheels and tires, just leveling the truck makes it look more aggressive and um, just looks more natural almost. I just I, I don't love the rake look where the back's a lot higher than the front. And really the two inch leveling kit is enough to, to level that out. And um, I, like I said, I just think it makes it look a lot better. Unfortunately, I don't have any pictures of the truck on its stock wheels and tires with the leveling kit because I did the leveling kit and the tire upgrade at the same time. The only thing I will say is when I installed it, I had to trim the tops of the factory like shock mounts because they were too long, they were longer than the spacer itself. So, you know, when I put it back up, they were hitting the shock mount before I was able to tighten down the, um, the, the spacer. So uh, I just had to cut the tops off so that they fit inside of the spacer, if that makes sense. Um, so that's really the only modification that I had to do, um, but I kind of accepted it knowing if I ever decide to upgrade uh, the suspension, I'm not gonna be going back to stock. I'm gonna be putting new shocks in and uh, I'll just get the new top hat too. Okay, next I wanna move out front and talk quickly about the headlights. So I'm not so much talking about the bulbs, but the factory bulbs aren't the best. And I would recommend doing some sort of projector upgrade. It makes a huge difference. It's a little bit outside of the, the budget of 50 bucks for this video, but uh, I have the CO light LED headlights that um, you can get on Amazon. I'll have it linked below, but they made a huge difference. And then you could al always step up to the next level and do a full on legit projector retrofit. Um, that'll run you a couple hundred bucks, but should be, you know, pretty, pretty dang sweet. What I'm more talking about for this video on this budget is just getting clear lenses or cleaning up the lenses that you have. You can get um, clear lenses for like 60-ish dollars, so still outside of the budget, but what's inside the budget is just buying a headlight restoration kit and, and doing it yourself. Um, what I did on the fog lights was I actually sanded them down myself, and then I bought the Spraymax 2K Clear and re-cleared them and that should last a little bit longer than just using a headlight restoration kit from walmart or autozone um, and i'll have that video link below they came out really really good and they're actually holding up pretty well too um, but i just think that having fresh clear clean lenses on your older vehicle makes it takes years off of it i think having old yellow lenses just makes it look so crappy and um, I, I think Freshening up the front of the of your truck just ah oh, it just makes it look so much better. But yeah, just clean up your headlights uh, whether you get the kit or just buy them outright, 
and uh, I really think it's worthwhile to do. Uh, it makes a huge difference looking at the front end of your truck. Well, hey, that's going to do it for this video. Hopefully one of the upgrades that I listed out uh, inspired you to do the same to your truck. I'll have all the information that I talked about in the description below. And I'd love to hear from you guys if there's other upgrades that you think fit under this budget, or heck, even if they're over this budget, that are a must-do on these first-gen Tundras. Please let us know in the comments. Uh, there's always so much good information in the comments section of my videos. Uh, I just, I, I really appreciate all the input from you guys. But yeah, other than that, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing, and have a great rest of your day.